what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy. Look what I'm lined up to get on this uh, Naruto 6 26 review. And uh, this right here was just the quickest flashback ever. It was really a waste of time, guys, honestly. If you think so, thumbs up. If you don't think so, thumbs on. Don't care. But, uh, yo. So, basically, what happens here is Madara keeps explaining why he turns evil. Hashirama keeps talking about what happens in the flashback. We get to see the, we get to see the aftermath for the full battle. And so, Hashirama ends up just going ham on Madara. And they end up tying until uh we have Madara. No, before that we have Madara explaining why that the utopia that he doesn't like it and he choose and he end up that's it before even before they created that he chose he chose a completely different path and he turned evil. And Hashirama explains that he he was on a different path. He wanted the perfect utopia where people and kids that where Konoha can be true peace and nobody has to worry about it, no arguments, none of that. And so basically, basically, honestly, Madara turned evil because of a different path for no reason. Like he just changed, he just changed his own path from the beginning. And so now he, and so you know he he switched the whole he just switched the whole game up, basically. And uh. And so basically, uh, next we have, and then we have uh, some cool, nice little attacks, some cool little interesting attacks. And wow, I can't believe this, but Hashirama sealed the nine tail. Well, I don't know what he did. Like he like put the nine tails to sleep in like one hand motion. Like he was just like boom in like one hand motion. Before that, we have uh, but before Madara left, Hashirama was explaining about the cool utopia, what I was just talking about. And then during the fight, we have Hashirama just going ham on her, uh, on her uh, Madara. He went like Buddha's with his new lord. It's called Buddha's Ultimate Form, and like he like. Did like some move, like did like a thousand fists just crushed the nine tails on my dog. Like that man just see like he literally like obliterated the man for a quick second. And so Hashirama, I mean so uh, what's his name? Madara had took the Susano off the nine tails. Yeah, that thing looks nice, guys. Right? You seen that gun? Like it's like a but the nine tails he he's like a he like a giant, like a giant samurai but he looks so little compared to Hashirama's Buddha's a thousand hands you see like it's crazy like he makes the nine tails like nothing like at all I don't know how he did it like his full Hashirama's full power is way better than uh Madara's full power and so now and then after that he uh sealed he sealed nine tails on one hand motion like he was like I don't know what it, let me see what it's called it's called like some old Submission palm, and then, then it was like one hand, yeah, one hand seal. And he just, my dog got out of the way, and then he like, he hit nine tails on my head and just put him on the just, just knocked him out in one hand. So then, you know, it started to rain, and then we have uh, my dog trying to settle it to the end, and now. Well, what we thought was Madara actually beat Hashirama, but in reality, Hashirama used a claw and stabbed Madara in the heart. And, which, and we thought that was the end, but in reality it wasn't. So, Hashirama says, he states that he devoted a path to where anyone who, who hurts his village, even if his loved ones, even if somebody... Consider a brother hurt because he had killed him and forced and strike him down with no hesitation. Like, and my dog was in a speech making it seem like he really beat him. This is my favorite part about this. Hashirama 
killed, well, technically, well, whatever, I think he killed him, killed Madara during his monologue. Like, he literally stabbed him during the monologue. That was my favorite part because nobody in Naruto does that. Every time in Naruto, we see a monologue, nobody attacks him in English in the middle or whatever, towards the end of my monologue. And now we finally get to see that. That's something interesting I like to see. That's something I really like to see. And so, yeah, basically, basically, yeah, Kachalong Path was that anyone, anyone who dares to try the, the strike, so who, anyone tries to harm Konoha, even if his own family, even if somebody he considered his own, anybody he considered family, he will strike down without no hesitation, like I was saying. And that should be Naruto's path, like, he needs to go ahead and kill Sasuke with no hesitation, like, he needs to go ahead, have a battle, kill him, and that's it. And that's good, and Naruto becomes Hokage. And then Madara says, he told, he tells him, he tells Hachimama that, he said one day he'll consume, he'll consume the village. So basically, Hashirama didn't really kill him. And so he was, he was basically, he was warning the whole world that that Madara and him was closest friends, and then, then we had the end of the at the end of it and then we see Sasuke's face and he was saying that the he was saying that the village don't need no one else it was just talking about dreams and all that. That's basically the end of the chapter and the birth and the verdict path. So now we hear we heard we heard Madara's side of the story and now we hear Hashirama's side of the story and well to Obito's technically. So now yeah, I mean, that's it. What I want to get on is my dog's randomness to to become evil, basically. But, uh, uh, every part of this was when Hashirama killed, killed my dog. Bad part. Well, funny part is Sasuke's face. And bad part was just my dog's randomness to become evil. And this was a great chapter in our so we get to see another flashback which was I didn't honestly the flashback was useless. Like they could have just showed the battle and then that's it. Like we don't we didn't really need to see all that if they were just gonna waste. If they just didn't tell what really happened, they was gonna make it three chapters. So yeah. I'm super saying right now. This was my Naruto review. I'm out, guys. Peace.